today we're going to do some troubleshooting about the sliding tipper and how to avoid the scratchy sound. We'll, we'll start with the sliding tipper. Now you might be getting frustrated with your hand sliding up the stick. Okay, a very simple solution is just a rubber band. Just take the rubber band and wrap it several times around the stick and then position it to where you would like to hold the stick. So if I was to hold it uh, just slightly off center, I would put my fingers underneath it so that it would prevent my hand from sliding up. Simple as that. You might want to just put it in the middle, depending on how you hold the stick. If you hold it with your thumb and your finger, with your in middle finger underneath, just put it to where you'll find that it's going to catch your hand. Okay, so simple solution. The other answer is a nice rubber or leather wrap that's used for tennis rackets and you can get material like this at Walmart or sporting goods stores and it it kind of um, feels like your your hand hugs the stick just nicely it kind of grabs grabs your hand and prevents your hand from sliding up so uh, the other options would be things like rope and cord but I don't personally use those but I've seen other players that have uh, used that and find that useful then you'll get tippers that have a bump in it that allows you to kind of hug onto it, um, but just depending on on the style that you play and what you prefer, just go with what feels good for you. Now the sliding tipper might be also to blame for this whole scratchy sound. If you're getting a kind of a cat scratching at the door sound, that it, it's not always you. Okay, I'm going to show you the difference between um, a broken in skin and playing on kind of a new kind of rough and kind of almost rough to the hand and crusty sounding drum and so this uh, this particular drum is the one that I play all the time and uh, it has a very smooth kind of broken in feeling to it and if I was to strike the skin kind of cleanly if I scratched it instead it's still very smooth sound but I'll let you hear a drum that's actually has a head on it's not been played really hardly at all and it's very very rough sound it's also very tight tension so if the head is at a tension that's a little bit too tight and it's a brand new skin you'll get that sound okay and also if your wrist is too too stiff or if you've been holding the stick too tightly to prevent it from sliding up the hand sliding up um, you'll you'll also be getting tension in your shoulder so that's kind of a good indication that you're holding the stick too tightly or your your wrist is too tight and uh, so all those factors affect that scrapey sound as soon as you kind of sort that out you'll you should hear that going away it's also when you start to try to play softly it takes a lot of control to play softly so just keep that in mind pretty well all beginners will get the scratchy sound at first but I promise it does go away but remember it's not always youth there's always a solution